Hello everyone, my name is David Kohar and I'm going to give you an overview of the 0 to 10 project management solution inside of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. We start off the solution with projects and project items. We've added to the solution a way to track hours, associate team members, and ultimately track project expenses. And because it's Microsoft Dynamics CRM, you're going to be able to wrap in the concept of using mobile, using goals, activities, reporting, and dashboards. So let's go into Microsoft Dynamics CRM and see how it looks. So I'm logged in here to Microsoft Dynamics CRM, and I'm going to start by looking at some of the dashboards. Here's one of the uh, dashboards we can look at, resource performance. And one of the things I can do is I can expand any one of these charts, and I can see how we're performing uh, week over week on our plan versus our actuals. Um, the blue, of course, was our plan for this particular week. Our actuals were, of course, what the, or the actual employees put in for their hours. If I want to pivot on any one of these and see it by employee, I can do that to see how um, that hour amount actually broke out. So I can see all that related information here at a glance. I can look at it, of course, by expenses, by hours spent. Um, I can even drill down on our expenses by employee if I want to. So a little bit around our resource performance. I can also go and look at our project financials. So I want to look at perhaps our budget versus actuals at the project level. And you can see that all of our projects are doing pretty good here so far. Our actuals are far below our, our uh, budget here. So things are generally looking pretty solid. I can go down one level now and look at that at the item level. So I can see each individual item. And of course, there'll be many items for any individual project. And I can see how we're performing on that plan versus actuals. I can, of course, pivot on things like revenue backlog by project manager when it's going to land as far as what month it's going to come in, and I can even see that by project number. So a bunch of visuals for me to begin understanding how our actual project health is doing and how our project financials are doing overall. Next, I can go in a little bit deeper here, and I might want to go into the project level and see how we're actually doing on each individual project. So here's a list of my active projects that I have going on right now. I can see that uh, when they all started, when they ended, who's the owner, um, what account they're for, what the name of the project is and such. Of course, I can see some of the pivoting of this information, whether that be by project manager, um, whether that be by the actual project number itself. So I can see a variety of um, information here. I can drill into any of the charts here on the right-hand side, and it'll actually give me a list of any of the actual projects here on the, on the left here. If I want to see all the projects again, I can simply go and see all the projects. So let's go in and look at one of these individual projects. I'm going to open up this uh, project. This one has actually been completed. And we can see a variety of information now around the project. So, of course, in the general tab, we're going to see things like what the project name is and the number, who the customer is, um, which status we're in, when it started and ended, and, and such. So we can see a variety of ways that we can start to profile what the actual project is. We can even look at the uh, projects and the calculations by time and materials or percent complete. So you'll see a variety of ways to the, see this data roll up. Now, on our financial tab, of course, we're seeing a very detailed breakdown of our revenue, both what was in the contract, how much we earned, what our backlog revenue is and such, our hours, and then our total costs. And these costs, of course, are broken out by things like labor, materials, um, so anything expense-related, of course, we're taking into account as well. What's nice is we can come in here and actually look at a variety of different pivots on this given project. So I've got a number of uh, ways that I can look at some charts. Here's a nice visual around the three uh, resources that were on this project and when they actually spent the hours um, in what weeks. So we can get a sense for when this really this project peaked, obviously in week 21, and then when it tailed off. Um, I can go and look at this in terms of our cost per week. I can look at the um, different uh, breakdown by hours. Uh, for each employee, hours spent, and then planned versus actuals, I can come in here and say, show me all the project hours, and then I'll be able to get a sense for how is our planning, right, of 34 hours in week 19 versus our actuals, which was 27 hours in week 19. So we can see how we've actually done from a planning standpoint. So some good project visuals to see. When I go down one level deeper from the project, of course, I can look at those individual items. So we have this particular project broken into three component parts, uh, a kickoff uh, item, a configuration complete item, and a final sign-off. So as you have different ways that you want to segment your you know, project you know, phases um, or project stages, you can easily break that out. So as we go into each one of these, 
we can then even see in more detail what does it look like um, at that given, in, given individual item for um, things like hours and expenses, right? So I'm putting in my hours each week as an employee. I'm be able to track that back to a, a given item as well as the overall project, of course, so I can get a sense for how we're doing on each one of these um, items. So while the project might be financially really strong, we can also see down at the item level whether or not we made our budget. So we can put in you know, various costs here and then we'll see a roll up of those um, to make sure that we're, we're doing a good job against them. So hours and expenses, and then we can see some actual planning here that has happened along the way as well. Uh, the project manager, of course, would be setting up the plan for each one of these stages, um, and then we would be putting hours against that to see how we actually perform. So ultimately, this gives us a really great ability to start to track the project at a high level, see what the financials are, get a sense for the actual individual phases of the actual project, the hours and expenses, uh, are driven down here, what our resource planning was. So as we were tracking our uh, plans over time against our actuals to get a sense for that. And this gives us a good overview of how we would start to track projects inside of Dynamic CRM. Now, various people in the organization are gonna have various roles. So we're gonna have people that are gonna log in as project managers to do a setup and create a brand new project and go through the, the setup process so that others can go in and, and set their time against it that have various particular roles in that given project. We're also going to be able to go and view this information on our mobile device. So here I'm going to pull up what our tablet uh, view would look like. So anybody that might be at a client site or out on the road and wants to quickly pull up some information about the projects um, or about the information that they've put in around an item or an expense, they can quickly go and find that information here on their mobile device. So we're going to start off by going home and we're gonna see some uh, dashboards here. So looking at our plan versus actual hours, again, our expense mix, our hours spent, we can go and see a various um, information around the dashboard itself. Uh, I, of course, I can go into the details here and go and see all the other dashboards that I want to that are uh, provided for me inside of CRM. Uh, I can go in here and look at the project financials one as well. So again, I get that information here if I wanted to drill into any of that detail. I can also go in and look at any one of these projects. So as I pull up the active project list, here's that same list we were just looking at inside of Dynamic CRM. So I can go in and pull up this particular uh, project, which was called the 2015-001 new install. And you'll see here's all that general information again and the financial information. So all the information is here at my fingertips. If I need it, I can go and see the, uh, the project items and go and look at that kickoff project item that I was just looking at. Of course, it's going to have all that same financial information here for me to go and see. I can go and look at the hours that were put in, the expenses, the planned hours. So I get a good sense for how uh, this project has been performing here. And I get all that detail that I want to see here even while I'm on the road. So as you go back and look in summary, I've got projects, project items. I can go and drill into the expenses and the project hours as well. So with that, I want to do a brief wrap up. I want to thank you for watching the video here today on our project management solution inside of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. If you have any questions or feedback at all, please reach out to your account manager. Thank you.